Yeah, just doing a quick review on this particular set from Trix 22559. Never seen this set before. Very, very rare. Um, so I thought there's not much on the YouTube or anywhere else about it. So I thought I'd do a review on it like I do on everything else. So there it is. Ice S. Really nice set. Yeah, this set's never been used before it's mint or well, close to 100% mint um, really nice coaches take a closer look there yeah unusual uh, livery of course this wasn't it's a um, an experimental ice train really nice let's have a look through the uh, leaflet and get some more information on this Yes, yeah, so on this version there's five pantographs. One, two, three, four, yeah, in total. These are non-operational. I think they're just for experimental purposes in the real prototype as well. Uh, so the power feed comes through through the two drive cars at each end. Yeah, so I've just got it on the test track. Um, I'm not going to be running this train, I don't think, because it's not collectible even though it's got an 8 pin interface etc on the uh, drive car um, it takes the electrical feed from the other end on the dummy car feeds it through electrical couplings and that powers the interior lighting on the coaches and the interior lighting on the coaches are f it's really fantastic the way it's done because the light is evenly spread throughout all the coaches it looks absolutely fantastic I didn't realise you had lighting kits on, on this model I don't know if it's an added extra the person might have added it as an extra option uh, when he purchased the kit but this has never been run anyway so the electrical uh, pantographs are operational as well they can work they can take the power feed from over on the cantonary if you've got it so it really is an amazing set. I really am very impressed with this. What I do like is the uh, the lining down the side which changes to yellow and does a peak or some sort of graph in the middle on that coach and goes back to red again on the uh, drive car. Really, really nice. Yeah, so I very carefully removed the body. Uh, you've got a nose cone which just pops off. Take that off very carefully. And you've got rear door, this pops off, no problem. One screw holds the body on. And the receiver is a brass threaded item on the body, so you've got to be careful screwing it back and you don't thread it. Uh, we've got a high quality uh, motor there. It's a fire pole. Not 100% sure, but it's, it's quite smooth, quite motor. This one, it's really good. So, that's another bonus, it's not a noisy one. Circuit board with the DCC interface is there's a DCC plug. Take that out, put your 8 pin uh, DCC plug in there, which is going to be a bit tricky because it's upside down. Never seen one like that before. You've got plenty of space in there to put whatever speaker you want, bass reflex, whatever, anything in there, no problem. And there's a lot of metal on board, this uh, loco drive unit, all this lot's metal, the whole chassis. Well, yeah, it's uh, like the Flashman, similar drive system to the Flashman, uh, drive on four wheels, but well, it's going to be a lot heavier and noisier than the Fleischmann because the Fleischmann ones are a lot lighter but there you go, it's a very nice model just got to decide whether or not to actually run it yeah I discovered uh, uh, looking through the manual uh, that it does come standard this particular model with interior lights they're not fitted separately they come fa factory fitted it's all the art change of bulbs and stuff 
the internal lighting is really really nice on these coaches really well done um, and you can see uh, excuse my phone this particular drive car weighs 538 grams which is a lot so it's a really heavy unit and the dummy drive car still quite heavy that weighs 340 grams so you're talking there's a lot of weight in this train so it probably will make a bit of a rumbling noise when it goes round if you've not got insulated uh, track work uh, with a cork underlay etc which I haven't got so on my next layout I will be putting that cork bed down before I put the track uh, when I do build another layout so let's bear that in mind